Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today we will learn how to build an automated payslip generator in Excel. So we will be using multiple formulas here. We will be using some lookup functions. We will be using some some ifs and a few more data validation methods. So it's a combined project where you can build an HR payslip generator using Excel. So with that said, if these are the type of videos you'd like to watch, then hit that like and subscribe buttons and the bell icon to get notified whenever we host. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. Also, just for a quick info, if you want to upskill yourself to master data analytics skills and land your dream job or grow in your career, then you must explore Simply Learn's cohort of various data analytics programs. Simply Learn offers postgraduate programs from Purdue University in collaboration with IBM. Through this program, you will gain knowledge and work ready expertise in skills like prescriptive and predictive analytics, regression, classification, and over a dozen other skills. That's not all. You also get the opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts in top tier product companies and academicians from top universities. After completing these courses, thousands of learners have transitioned into a data analytics role as a fresher or moved on to a higher paying job profile. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box below to find a data analytics program that fits your experience and areas of interest. Now, without further delay, let's quickly hop on to Microsoft Excel workbook. So here I have already created a sample payslip generator. So here we have used some data validation methods to select the employee details. Let's say I want to go with Brian and here we have his employee ID, his full name and the month March, right? And apart from that, the number of hours worked, you know, and here the total number of hours he logged in was this and number of times his client call got canceled or he was on a sick leave, casual leave in the month of March and the total rate for each and every event. So if he's logged in, he'll get about $45 and in case if he's on a leave due to a client call cancel, he'll get $20 for sick leave, $30, casual leave, $25 and public holiday is $30. And end of the day, we can just you know multiply these two values to get his final salary right so if we drag this cell across overall here so we'll get a salary for march right so this is real time so you just select the employee name and here you just select the month which is about present in this particular sheet here and you will get all the details right and here is the time sheet for the month of march and all the employees who logged in and what are the events happening right so this seems interesting but how did we create it and how come we have uh, all the employees here without any duplications when you can see there is a complete duplicate entries or two three times entries over here right how did we filter this out and how did we export this data into a payslip generator and how is it looking up at all those values and how is it summing up the salary right so we have multiple uh, uh, formulas and functions implemented in this particular payslip generator so without further delay let's try to recreate this particular playlist or payslip generator so firstly we will create a sorted and filtered list let's quickly rename this as sorted and filtered employee list so what we're going to do is Firstly, we will try to import entire list of all the employees present in this particular organization by using the unique function. You guessed it right. So we are just fetching the unique values one time only for once into this particular list. And we will also if possible, it's not mandatory, but here I have sorted them in the alphabetical order, right? So that it is a little bit easier for you to track. Now let's try to name this as employee right and here I will use the unique function UNI QUE just tap to select the function and the array is here so we have converted this particular you know table into an actual table 
using the control T function in Excel and I'll select this particular you can see that highlighted downside arrow right in the bold black color so that means it is pointing to select the entire column just click that line and there you go your entire column has been selected now this is one way of uh, or one part of extracting unique functions now another one is to try to sort these employees list in the alphabetical order right so i'll be using the sort function over here press tab to select now close the bracket over here and press enter now you have the entire list of employees in the alphabetical order and there is no chance for any duplication in this particular list right so this is part one you can just quickly save your file so that you don't miss any track right and uh, the next one is the activities so one they have logged in second one they have logged in and by some reason the client call or the business meeting has been cancelled so they are sitting idle or they don't have anything to do maybe they are logging off early right so that is the second situation third one is an actual sick leave fourth one is a planned casual leave and the fifth one is a public holiday so mostly many organizations five events now we will copy and paste these uh, activities or events into this particular sheet over here which has sorted and filtered list of employees now we are going to calculate the month here so you can add month and here you can uh, deal with the same March data that we have used here you can just copy and paste that value over here as well so you can also manually write it down as March 2024, March, April 2024, anything, correct? Now we are dealing with this particular March data, so we will proceed with March data as well. Now, the last one. This can be named as pay slip generator, right? So if we check the pay slip generator over here, what we have here is the first one, employee name, right? So you can first add that particular employee select option over here, right? Select employee and here you will name or you will try to add the employee name. So if you check this particular sheet too, I have the data validation option enabled here. I can just select the employees from the dropdown. So let's try to create a dropdown over here equals to or you can just go to data option here. Just click the cell and go to the data option over here and here you have columns click the drop down option and go to data validation now here instead of any value go to list and here you can give the list of employees that you recently filtered this is one way of doing it but what's the downside of it let's say i add a new employee over here okay let's cancel this operation right away and let's say i add a new employee right over here maybe as jonathan he's a new joinee he's an intern or you know he is a new joinee something like that so when i add jonathan over here the data validation from this particular section would not be able to identify him as a new joinee the list will end at this place which is this one right so we don't want that to be happening now we need to operate on a different approach for creating this particular data validation option so the approach is really simple if you just get into this particular sorted list over here and if you check this list you can see we have uh, the first column as employee starting from snooper to all the way to the last Jonathan right now what we need to do is create a new formula so just enter into the formula option right over here and use the define name option so that you're defining a new formula altogether and here you can type it down as employee so you list of employees list of employees you can write an underscore so that the formula doesn't uh, get confused so here we have so where it is referring to right so it is referring to this particular column so a to a so just add an hashtag over here so that uh, it will automatically update if there is any new addition to the list now here we'll create a data validation go to data and data tools data validation and instead of any value go to list and here you will type the source as equal to employee there you go uh, maybe we have to do a like change over here okay now go to sort 
so here we generated a formula so okay let's try to review that formula over here list okay and so let's go to the employees list select the first cell over here there you go and define a name so the name will be emp list sorted and filtered employees so here you will be adding a hash so we have we have written the hash after this now we want that to go along with the entire spill from second cell to the entire existence of that particular list right in case if there is a new addition you can enter that new addition and consider that as an employee right so we've done that just press ok there you go now go to the payslip generator and here create a data validation option let's clear this now go to data data validation and here you will be selecting the list and here you will be writing emp list that you just created press ok now you have the employees list and in case if you add a new employee at the end he will also he or she will also be considered as an employee now part of the job is done the next is a few more details like uh, the employee number and employee name and let's check the yeah the month correct so now how would you generate the employee number so employee number is like fetching when it comes to fetching nothing is better than a lookup function or an index match let's proceed with a lookup function i'd go with vlookup since it's my favorite one so this b2 will be my lookup value and the lookup uh, table is this particular table go to a corner and get that this is the table you are looking at uh, you want the second column which states to the payroll id or employee id and i want an exact match close the bracket and there you go now select the employee number or employee name here and you will have the employee number right here and here you want to add the employee name which is this particular cell whatever is present in that particular cell is your employee name and here you want to add the month which is this particular month which we are currently correct so far so good now we want to create the payslip generator so first if we take a look at this particular one here we have the activity and here we have the number of hours and salary now let's copy the same is it in our payslip generator right here Do some formatting if you feel like there you go we have a formatting ready and here as well and here we will add our hours and rate and salary there you go and i think we already predefined our rates so copy and paste the rates right here now we need to calculate the number of hours logged in and for that we will be using a simple sum of function equals to sum of so you need to pay a little attention to this particular sum as function because everything relies on how you are phrasing the cell values so you might be a little confused so you can understand what i mean during the execution of the sum as function so sum as and now the sum range so the sum range is nothing but the hours table right over here just click on the hours comma so after hours we will be selecting the employee correct so the person who is working which is this particular column just navigate your cursor to the location where the cell b2 and b3 are intersecting which is a black line over there so you can see that particular mouse icon which is which looks like a lower pointing downward arrow key just click that downward arrow key and your column will be selected and that's next one now comes the critical part so you need to go back to the payslip generator over here and select the employee name so employee name is existing in cell b5 so select b5 try to freeze it function f4 so that this value doesn't change because we are going to drag this formula across the next four activities so when you drag the formula the formula should be pointing to b5 but not succeed to b6 b7 etc 
right that's the major thing which you need to make sure and after that you need to find the activity right so go back to the timesheet data and here is the activity or status point your mouse pointer to that particular location where g3 and g2 intersect so that you get the downward arrow key just click that there you go comma now comes another major part payslip generator sheet so now we are on the payslip generator so we need an if condition so it needs to identify if the activity is what's present in cell d3 or d4 d5 d67 based on the table what we have then printed the way it is and if not just the way it should be right so you will understand that more clearly when we start with the if condition just select the if condition press tab to select and cell location d3 if d3 is equals to the activity which is logged in then it should be nothing just blank if not then it should have logged in which is again d3 now close the brackets so close the functions there you go now press enter there you have it number of hours now just drag this formula across all the rows and you have it so now you have a real-time payslip generator just uh, change some employees to check if our formula is working and it's working fine you can also eliminate the leading zeros but let's keep, but let's keep it right every minute counts now the final one the salary slip generator so e3 cross or star into the rate enter now you can drag the same formula across all the cells to find the total salary now you can also do a final customization over here just copy and paste the cell and drag this and uh, you can merge total salary you can even bold this here you can have sum of all this enter the final salary you can also do some formatting so there you go that's how you can create a real-time automated payslip generator in excel and with that we have come to an end of this session on how to create an automated payslip generator in excel should you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session or if you require the data set or the formulas or any resources that we used in this session please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest until next time thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from simply learn staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts. Choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.